Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Mrs. Swistak's Art Room on the Couch. Today, as promised, I am going to walk you through and how to use the site Klecky.com. That's K-L-E-K-I.com. Right up here on my address bar, you can see where it's at. I'm going to, in our classroom stream, provide a link to you for it. I will also, if you're watching on YouTube, put it down in the comments so you can find it pretty easily. Klecky is just another digital online sketching platform that you can use in substitution for using art supplies. And I'm going to show you how to use some of the tools over here. Um, let me see if I can move my... There we go. Let me move me over here so that you can see the tools on this side. Okay, so on the right side here where you see my mouse kind of circling around, you can see the toolbar and where you're going to access some of the things that you could use to work with your sketches. Of course, you can just start drawing right on your sketching area here, this big white area right in the center. But maybe you did a sketch and you would like to color it because you don't have any coloring tools at home. So what you're going to do is you're going to click right over here on the right where it says import. And that will of course open up where you have your files saved at. And what I did today is I, for one of the April drawing challenges, it was a muffin. So I drew a muffin. So I'm going to open up my muffin and it gives you a little import image window you want to import it as a layer so that you can interact with it. And then, of course, you can place it where you want to on your sketching pane. And you can, of course, enlarge it before you import it. Of course, you'll go ahead and hit OK. Now, over here on the right side with your tools, you have a little plus and minus button. That's going to, if you hit the plus, enlarge it for you so that it, you can see it a little easier and help you color up things that might be small a little easier. You have your undo and redo buttons. This little hand is going to allow you to move your drawing pane around and then you have a brush and when you click on brush it's going to give you the options for the colors, a couple different styles for brushes and an eraser of course if you can make a mistake. Now in our past program we talked about layers. Layers are like layers of um, tracing paper so that everything that you will be doing is going to be put on a layer. And I have a blank white layer here as layer one and layer two is where my drawing of my muffin is at. Now, because I want to draw on top of my muffin, I want to color on top of my muffin, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see this little square uh, rectangle white here. It says new layer. And that's the other thing too, that's a great bonus for this program, is that you can hover over each of the buttons and it will tell you what it's going to do. So you have create a new layer. I'm going to click that and it's going to give me a third layer. So what this all telling you is, is that I have three kind of like pieces of tracing paper. One is just a plain white layer. I'm actually going to get rid of that. So I'm going to click on the layer I want to get rid of, and I'm going to click that little trash can. Now you'll notice that my screen went from white to these blue and white checkers. And the reason why it did that is because it now has made these two layers as transparent layers. So what that means to you is when I work on my layer above, layer two, I'm going to be able to color my muffin without disturbing the drawing that's underneath. Alrighty. So I'm going to go head over to the brush. I'm going to pick a color for my muffin liner. I think I might want a light blue muffin liner. That's a nice light blue. I'm going to choose the brush that I want to use. We've got a regular brush. You've got a blend, which is probably going to blend your colors together. A kind of sketchy look and then of course your eraser. Now you can change the size that makes your brush larger. This makes your brush smaller. Um, opacity means whether you can see through it or not. Right now I have it set at 100% because I don't want to see through it. And before I start coloring I'm going to zoom in on my cupcake here or my muffin excuse me so that I can easily see the details where I need to avoid lines. Now, if I want to do lines, I will show you in a second how to do that. But now, because I am on my layer that doesn't have my muffin, I can go ahead and start filling that in. And it is not going to disturb the drawing underneath. If I had started coloring 
on the muffin itself, what would happen is that I would get rid of the drawing that I had did with my pencil. And basically what I did was I just drew it quickly in pencil, went over it in marker so that you could see it easily. And then I uploaded it, took a picture and uploaded it into my computer. So because this is a muffin, I might want to change it to a little bit darker for the next little part of it. All right. And I might want to make my brush just a little bigger so this goes a little faster. Now, how does this program compare to the other program that we looked at the other day, Sketch? Um, I kind of like Sketch a little bit better. It has a lot more options for you. And for me personally, because I do a lot of digital art, um, it has some of the features that some of the more professional art programs have. Um, this does not have some of those features. Um, it doesn't have the cool sticker feature that I know some of you might like to use. So that's another downside to it. But it is a pretty, you know, basic sketching program. Now, if you want to do lines, I'm going to, like, say if you want to do your black outlining, I'm going to put my color on black. I'm going to put my brush where I want it to be a black line. I'm going to hold the shift button. And then I can go to the spot where I want my line to draw, and it's going to go ahead and fill in my line. And I'm doing all this. Oops, see, made a mistake there. So now I can hit my undo button, and that's going to go away. So I'm going to hold my shift button, and I can do any of my black outlines. Now, just want to show you what this looks like if I take away or if I turn down the opacity of my muffin drawing, you can see that the drawing itself has disappeared, but because I have colored on layer three, just the colors remain. Now, if you want to color on top of your drawing, right on top of that layer, you can. That's totally up to you, but you don't have to. You can do it on a separate layer so that um, you don't mess up your drawing. Now, in the edit area, you have some different things that you can play with as far as your picture goes. You can flip and resize and rotate and adjust brightness and uh, invert your colors. That's something that you'd have to click around and play with. But as you're working, I want you to notice here where we, when I click File, it says no auto saving available. So as you're working, you do want to make sure that you click that Save button periodically so that it saves it for you. And right down here on the bottom, it saved the image for you. Um, I haven't played with other of these. Oh, all right, so the current state, if you hit store, you'll see this pops up. The current state of your painting is stored in your browser so that when you open Klecky up, you can continue working on this same painting. Um, and then once again, here's upload. Let's see, image upload. Um, if you want to upload your image to Imgur, I-M-G-U-R, you can, although anybody with the link will be able to see it. You can upload it to your drive. Oh, here's a great feature. This one actually will automatically upload it to Google Drive. So for those of you who are working on Google Classroom, this is going to make it even easier for you to submit your artwork to me through our Google Classroom or just as easy to find it for when you're ready to email it me. E email it to me, excuse me. Please don't forget if you're submitting through Classroom that you change the file name to make sure that it has your name on it so they know it's your work. And that's pretty much how Clicky works. Fun little program, especially for those of you who might not have art supplies. So I hope this was a little bit helpful for those of you who are interested in using some of the online digital sketching platforms to do your artwork and submit it to me. I hope you're all staying well, staying safe, and I can't wait to see what cool art that you've created. Take care.